The Stony Brook football team opened the 2012 season at Laval Stadium on Saturday against the Central Connecticut Blue Devils. And from the start, the Seawolves came to play. Opening minutes of the first quarter, quarterback Kyle Essington going to give the ball to Iowa transfer Marcus Coker, who backs his way into the end zone to give Stony Brook its first points of the season for Coker, his first touchdown in a Stony Brook uniform. Seawolves' defense was also amped up to start this game. Watch as Dominic Reyes just blows this play up, makes the tackle in the backfield. And then it would be senior Jawara Dudley's turn. Watch as he reads the play and takes down quarterback Andrew Clements. Dudley led the Seawolves with seven tackles and two sacks. On the other side of the ball, the Seawolves offense looked to be in mid-season form. Watch as Essington sells the play fake. Floats this one over the middle and hooks up with Kevin Norell. This is an 89-yard touchdown strike. And Stony Brook uses the big play to take a 14-0 lead midway through the first quarter. Essington and Norell loving it on the sidelines. But that was not the only big play of the quarter. Very next possession, Essington gives it to Miguel Mazanet, goes over the defender into the open field and he's gonna take this one all the way for the touchdown 84 yards the Seawolves have two plays of 80 plus yards in the first quarter they take a 21 to nothing lead with three and a half minutes to play in the opening frame let's skip ahead now to the second quarter Stony Brook now up 21 to 3 when Clements flushed out of the pocket sees a wide open hole up the middle and he scampers 28 yards into the end zone for the touchdown, cuts the Stony Brook lead to 21-10, but that was as close as the Blue Devils would get. Ensuing Stony Brook possession, Essington puts it right into the breadbasket of Maisonette. A 25-yard touchdown, Maisonette's second touchdown of the game, and the Seawolves take a 28-10 lead into the locker room. To the third quarter we go now, and the Seawolves just wearing down the Blue Devils' defense. Here's Maisonette dragging tacklers for 13 yards to the outside. And then his backfield counterpart, Coker, just going to bounce off tacklers, powering through, picks up 16 yards, and then four plays later, Maisonette in the Wildcat goes up and over and in for the touchdown, his third score of the game. It's 35-10 Stony Brook late in the third. Central Connecticut trying to answer back. Rob Holloman takes the pitch but loses the football. And junior Ivan May falls on it, sets up the Seawolves in scoring position yet again. And Essington right back to work. Watch as Adrian Coxon climbs the ladder and takes it away from the defender who had no chance at that ball. Seawolves take a 42-10 lead. Both teams would tack on late touchdowns. But in the opener of the 2012 season, head coach Chuck Priori and the Stony Brook football team roll to a 49-17 victory over Central Connecticut. Maisonette leads the way on the ground with 171 yards and a pair of touchdowns. Also caught a 25-yard touchdown pass from Kyle Essington, who threw for 188 yards and three scores. The Seawolves return to action next Saturday against Pace at 6 o'clock.